Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part six of my life and death rags riches legacy challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And I have Poppy doing a side job because she had to do it for her after school activity. And I like her to be finished before she goes. Uh -huh. She's already maxed it. It's TV uh -huh. season premiere and... Uh, she needs some fun. I'm I'm hoping and thinking I'm going to age her up today. So I had them all take the day off. So I just need her to do a business plan when she finishes this. I don't know what they're coming over. Chat with David. Chat with Roman. But she also needs some fun. Hopefully she finishes this. If she doesn't finish it quickly or soon, I should say, then I'll just cancel it and she can finish it later. Um, I'm just going to set her up to do her business plan. Oh, oh, she got 1,279 simoleons. It's almost like I needed to have her do something else to get it to trigger to finish, because I think she'd been hung on another job previously. But she's in a distant phase, so hopefully there's no issues aging her up while she's in a phase, because I don't really have time to send her volunteering and stuff, and all of her, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, everything's positive. And Elizabeth is practicing practical magic because I'm hoping she'll learn Scrubberoo. And because she's really, really dirty and she wants to clean herself. And she doesn't learn it, I'll just let her have a shower. I could have Poppy Scrubberoo her, but right now Poppy's busy creating her plan. Oh, we have a, a sad baby. Is she just sad? Oh, she's actually hungry. Okay, well, that's what happens when you uh, um, let yourself get... Oh, you're playing... Oh, she... I don't know if... I don't think... I may have done this off camera, but she's sitting. So she's trying to get over there by scooting. But no, my dear, we're going to feed you. Elizabeth, did you... How much longer do you have to do on this? I don't know which one I can get to feed you. <laughs> Either of you really very good for doing it. I don't know if that'll stop. So we'll have Elizabeth stop with this and come here and bottle feed. Maybe you'll actually want to eat, Miss Picky. <laughs> Miss Picky, who doesn't like to eat, will just let um, her have a shower when she's finished. When I started her practicing magic, she wasn't, like, as dirty <laughs> as she is. But, uh, like, right after it, like, got to that stage. And she, she needs to work on her parenting skill. Which the only reason she can is because I do have a mod in that lets teens learn parenting skill. Um... I've tried a few different ones. I can't remember which one I have. I think it's one by Little Miss Sam is the one I have in. So, but she can't. Okay, did you get yours done? And I just missed you getting paid? Let's see. You are done. Done with everything. Maybe we'll send you do a volunteer and see if hopefully it doesn't mess up anything. That's the other downside of volunteering. Does anybody else in a phase? <laughs> mm, um, neutral confidence. Yeah. No, they're out of their phases. Everybody else is out of their phase. The only one in a phase is Poppy. It probably shouldn't matter. I just don't trust stuff sometimes. It should go when she ages up. I'll just let her go on her own. You can go volunteer at beach cleanup. And you shouldn't be hungry anymore. So here's Zoe. That's all she has. She has three fine motor and there's six. She has... We have this so we have more of those. She has a few firsts. She's got five gross motors, so she needs to learn. She's learned to creep, so she needs to learn to crawl, stand, and dance. So those are her ones that she has left for that. And then she has four more social, because there's eight social. So, okay. So how are you? How is she doing? Does she need a diaper change? Get diaper change from Elizabeth. We'll put that in the garbage. And then Elizabeth can put you on your play mat. Uh -huh. Or maybe just put you down because you can play with the uh, blocks and work on your... Or you can do tummy time. You don't really need the play mat anymore as much. Because you can just do stuff without it. Because now she can sit. She can play with the blocks. Or she can play with the dollhouse and work on her fine motor those ways. 
So she doesn't need to go on there to work on her fine motor. Okay, so get. Are you getting set down there? You are. Okay. So why don't you um, play with that and then you should do some tummy time. And Elizabeth is going to go have a shower. And then one of you guys can take the garbage out. Empty the trash. And they're they're just chatting up, having a chat with each other. I do plan on aging them up pretty soon, too. I mean, I could age them all up today, for that matter. That might be the way to go, Dad. Not them, them all being <laughs> the twins. And, uh... Um... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll think about it. I could also have them learn their manners after Poppy ages up. She could teach it. Not that it's necessary. You can get that quite easily at the teen stage. Uh, why don't you work on your emotional control? And why don't you um, write in your journal? That'll help you. Are these bad? They're average. And they're all foul. We should probably... This is good. It can go away. That's unfortunate. That's that. Angelfish is foul. And I had him harvesting the garden. That's why he... Ha I think, yeah, definitely. Those are from the garden. I don't know if we got it before. This time? Hmm. Oh, I don't... doesn't look like it. Looks like I told him and it was, like, too late and he just harvested everything. <laughs> that's all right. We don't need it. That's okay. This is all from when they were probably were fishing yesterday, would be my guess. We're gonna, uh, uh, this is so 50-50 whether one works versus the other. We will confront the bullies. Poppy approached the bullies and calmly convinced them to leave the other Sim alone. The bullied Sim was really grateful and they had a really good time chatting. Oh good, she gained conflict. I was, I was more concerned she'd lose. <laughs> that was the downside of sending her. Okay, so now you, my dear, have you studied for your exam? Because you do need to for your... Yeah, you should... Because you need to study for it tomorrow. Because you have an exam tomorrow. So much as, as I would really like you to learn, and I got her... I don't know if I had shown that, but I got her a journal. So she can do that. And what are you angry about? Oh, ghost, ghostly anger. Right, I need to make her a ghost by going to the bog... And then see if we stay there the whole time she's a ghost. If maybe that, maybe it was a travel. Because traveling seems to, or loading screens in general, seem to come make some things get stuck, it seems. Why are you hungry? And you need some fun. Did you finish studying for your exam? Okay, because you had done some studying. So why don't you get leftovers? Get some garden salad. Looks like we need to make some more food. And then why don't you watch the um, Dream Home Decorator? That's one thing I use from Dream Home Decorator all the time is the TV channel. And what are you doing, Sweet Pea? You're, you're just bad and determined to play in that. Okay, no. You can do tummy time. <laughs> do tummy time. Do something more productive than playing in there. And then if you want to still do something after that, you can play with the blocks. That's what you can do. And now she has fun. <laughs> I don't remember when that happened, but she's got the milestone. You're probably still hungry, aren't you? And you never did watch, because... <laughs> um, do you have much cooking skill? You have no cooking skill. Why don't you come here and prep some lactose-free batter, because we don't have that, if I remember correctly. And... Look at that cooking... Um, I did notice, I was trying to look through her hidden traits with MCCC, or just all of the stuff she has, and it seems like they're getting boosts from their old club, because I don't have, I don't believe, cooking boosted, but there were definitely some skills I haven't bought boosts for, and yeah, I don't have it for cooking. So I kind of wonder if that is, is still on them because she was in that club. So I'll have to remember. I either would have to go load up that household and remove them from the club so they don't get the boost from the other ones. And I'm going to have to remember. And if I do that, I may do that. But even if I don't, I'll have to remember when 
my sims are going on to the next generation to remove them from the household <laughs> from the club the household club so they don't get any carryover things from the previous one but uh and that's still working so we need to upgrade that and how are you doing sweet pea you're playing with those blocks and what's your needs um they're fine for the now i don't it takes you a long time to get to those blocks maybe we should have you practice crawling with elizabeth <laughs> didn't mean for those walls oops to go up like that and they're up again okay we're gonna come here and friendly activities practice crawling because you're the one who needs oh yeah you're the one who needs that and you need some fun okay what's your you need some fun why don't you read the thanatology book which i may have already bought i think i feel like i bought that i don't think i bought a lot i did i didn't buy a lot of skill books i do plan on buying more but i figured it's not that much money so it didn't matter that much and that should help her with her fun, but also she needs to do it for this. And I'm mainly doing it because she needs help with her fun. Because it's really, really bad. And I'm hoping reading will help her uh, get the fun going up a little bit. It is. I mean, there are obviously better things to do. Um, I guess I should... Oh, what are you doing? Okay, if you're going to bed, then you're tired. So you should come here and... Oh, that's what we need to do. We need to read the watch the TV season premiere is what we need to do. I don't I you know what I never I don't know if we could go in here and um I don't know if you can just have you can just go out you can cancel your membership. So I could have them all cancel their membership with the club and then we wouldn't get the boosts. Yeah, I think I'll do that. We can't, obviously, do it for the others. But, um, we can have them individually go in. <laughs> I renamed it to Landlords No More. So we're going to cancel our membership. Um, and then Elizabeth. We're going to do the same thing. Because I don't, I don't actually want the boost. Like, I just, I just found it out by mistake that we were getting boosted. So we're going to leave that club. And now, Poppy, it's your turn to go into this, and there you go. So now we won't have any boosts from that club, because I do think that they were getting some boosts, and I didn't want them to do that, even though I've been probably getting this all the whole time, every generation. It was only because I was trying to see if I could see that, the ghostly anger, if, if it was there, and I was thinking about getting rid of it from there. Okay, so she has read the book. Has she got to level two? She has got to level two. So she needs to befriend another ghost, find a rare item in a crypt, and achieve that level. But that's all right. But I'm sure she still is got that distant. I think I'm going to just take a chance. We're going to watch the season premiere. They'll all watch it to get their fun up. And then we'll probably have... Um, oh. What are you doing, sweet pea? You're making your way out here, are you? <laughs> oh, I are you supposed to... You're going to wiggle the music. You can go do that. Oh, she's going to get to level three. I'm going to pause. Because I actually don't want her to be on here. Oh, it doesn't matter. As long as she doesn't find the rest of the stuff, it doesn't matter. It's only getting the whole tier done that counts for the bucket list. So it doesn't matter that she got that part of it done. She needs some fun. Well, I'm trying to get you to watch the TV, but you're still reading your book. But that should have helped your fun. Oh, it's it's getting there. It's getting there all on its own. And there, she's wiggling to the music. <laughs> Look at her. She is... Um. Oh, she needs to go potty. She needs to eat. Well, let her get hungrier. Because she doesn't... She's picky, so she doesn't actually like to eat. So, I think you look like you're still kind of reading it. So now I can put it away. Okay, so I'll let them get through their season premiere, and then we may be back to have a birthday, but we'll be back for something. So it's 
Quite a bit later, they did end up going to their after school activity because there was enough time to have the party before. So I then had Poppy do her programming so she'd have that finished in hopes that we uh, will get, you know, valedictorian. But I don't know. There's some issues with it. So hopefully we don't have that. So let's get the party started. And I'm going to actually have her make some food because I don't think there's anything in the fridge. There, we'll make uh, whatever it was that I picked there. <laughs> I think it was Burmese samosa soup. Which is, yeah, anyways, I know it's a for rent dish. But, uh, so she's going to make that. And Zoe, you just are bound and determined to play there, aren't you? Why don't you do some tummy time while you're getting hungry? And then you know what? When you're finished doing tummy time, why don't we... Um, I, thought these, I thought these were... I guess they're not portable. <laughs> I thought they were like um, live draggable, but they obviously aren't. Are you at least playing with emotion? Plunk for inspiration. Okay, well that's okay, but... You need to go have a shower. If you want to get inspired, why don't you go take a thoughtful shower instead? I completely missed that you were dirty. You're not so bad. You guys are like loving the hot stuff, Scotch. Okay. Oh, you're eating. Okay. Oh, well, we had one guest come. Nyon. Well, there's no point in you making an introduction. Uh... Because you were hungry, weren't you? But are you... You are hungry... You're hungry too, and you're, you're all a little bit hungry. Is this, are we, is this our one guest? I did invite, oh no, I see everybody's outside. All dressed up. Well, we have one particularly dressed up. Holly, uh, if you actually. So I think we got, we're missing your dad. No, no, your dad is here. We're missing Philip. Philip's not here. Oh no, Philip's there. <laughs> And they don't, do they have the same hair or they have slightly different hair? No, they do have different hair. They're just kind of similar looking. <laughs> They're not the same. So everybody come on in. This seems to be more successful in terms of how many people are here than the other party. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, let's, uh, it looks like you're getting complimented. Okay. And we need, why don't you call the meal? Why don't you... Oh, wrong sim. You can't call the meal. Kids can't call the meal. Why don't you call the meal? <laughs> Why don't we have someone who can call the meal? Call the meal. So that we can get people eating. Not that we need to, because normally all you have to do is blow out the candles because of her... Um... <laughs> Are you, did you grab more food? You don't need more food. You ate. Unless that's the food you were eating. You can finish your food. I thought you grabbed another one. There's like more people than we have food, honestly. Kind of need to make some more. But why don't we first come here and... Oh, you have to finish the food for it to count, I think. Why don't you come blow out your candles? Oh, I guess that's too hot for you, Gemma? I think everybody came. That's good. Better than... Okay, you're going to do it from this direction. Let me flip around. And hope people aren't in the way. I'd rather you have not done it over there. I thought I put the cake so it was facing, like, the curve. So that you would go on the curved side. That's where I wanted you to go. But I'm going to take a picture. And then hit play. There. Another one. Uh, it's kind of late. You're already blowing out your candle. But last I looked, everything was positive here. And it still is. I didn't see anything happen. Oh. Oh, you, you are gonna, you, you heard me. <laughs> I said I wanted you to be on the other side, and you went. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I was a little bit concerned when you moved. I wasn't sure what was going on. There. Okay, we got a cross promote a venue, and then we aged up. I had to pick an aspiration. And this time, I'm going to pick one that she doesn't have the trait for. So I could go for athletic, which would give her high metabolism, which she doesn't have already. Um, we already have knowledge. We could do popularity, which gives you 
friendly relationships build faster. We could do love, so we get uh, the bonus trait of alluring. They are more successful at romance than others. Maybe we'll do that one. And we'll do... Um, we'll start with Paragon Partner. And then I'm going to pick a trait for her. Embrace your inner darkness and your occasional intrusions of light. Macabre sims are all about being their best unique self while still reveling in all that life and the afterlife has to offer. So I'm going to give this to her and we'll explore it. I will probably use a retraining potion later to get rid of it. And also I will probably give Elizabeth the chase by death. And I don't know who I am going to give because it doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> I'll give maybe one of the twins, the skeptic, one and they'll have it the least, because I really don't think it makes sense for my spellcasters to have it, but we can examine it for a bit, because I definitely don't want it for long. I almost didn't select it. So we're going to do that. Yes, she got valedictorian. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy. I just don't count on it. Sometimes you just think they would get it, and they don't for some no apparent reason. Okay, is someone going to eat this cake or can we add birthday candles to it? Because it's a never spoiling cake. <laughs> so we can just have it for all of our birthdays. Well, I also have the other two in our inventory. And she became a notable newcomer. I don't know why she got that when she aged up. Like at this stage, because her family are famous, her parents and stuff. And her sister... Both of them, I think. Though I think her... I think Holly is more famous than if I remember correctly. <laughs> Let's see. Holly is a five-star celebrity. So yes, she is more famous. So is her dad. And Misty is three stars. So like her family is all... Yeah, like we got three that are five-star and one that's three-star. So maybe that's why she aged up as a one-star celebrity. But I'll need to let her... I want her to drop it, and then get, then we'll let her get it. And then she has more points, because you don't lose your points when you go down. You just lose whatever. So um, so she had that. Uh, but she's already lost. <laughs> she's already lost, because she's already... She probably got it when she aged up to a child and then to a teen. And now she's got it again. So I'm guessing that's why. So she graduated as a valedictorian. She has the honor of giving a speech. She knows she'll need to prepare. I need to remember that. And um, unfortunately, the universities don't help with the careers that came with the pack. There is uh, a bug report. I don't know if it's a bug report or a, a feedback report, but the same thing is true with Lovestruck, that the there's no university degree that helps with the career that comes with Lovestruck. So... Anyways, we have our gold, <laughs> even though we've only had three or four people, and she's inspired now. So we're going to actually have our prep ingredients, and we'll make some prep seafood, because as much as we got this, we're going to actually put her over. I'm going to drag this up now, because now it takes more room with that. We're going to put her over onto the food appliance whiz. And because she still needs to collect ingredients while she's inspired, which she wasn't. I had her collect something before, but she wasn't inspired. But now she's got this for two hours. Probably need to upgrade this so it's faster. And uh, then we'll make some progress because then she can get to the point where she can pass down her trait. And let's see. I have actually added... Um, you are probably hungry, aren't you? Oh, you're not hungry. Did someone feed you? Are you trying to go to sleep? Now you're doing tummy time. Now all on your own. Unless that's just from when I told you to do it. Probably that's what it is. No, I don't do jokesters. Oh, someone put you on there. <laughs> I didn't put you on there. <laughs> so that was someone else. Well, you just do some more tummy time. Not that you can really do much with the tummy time. Why don't you just play with the toys? Why don't you play with... Oh, now you're sitting up. Are you supposed to be playing with toys? What are you doing? Uh, play with toys. Yeah. Oh, you can play with the toys sitting now. Because you sit. You're a big girl. You can sit all by yourself. 
We need you to get all your little milestones there, sweet pea, so we can age up to a toddler, and then we'll zoom through the toddler stage, at least. And then the child stage will take a little longer. Because I want to do all. But by the child stage, we should be moved, for sure, to our the second neighborhood. And then they'll give us a bigger lot so that we can have, like, a tree house and stuff on the lot. Otherwise, we're going to have to go somewhere else. But I'm actually going to leave this part here. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye!